What's going on you guys? Y'all know the drill. We're here for the back nine. We've got Texas legend Freddie Mesa, highest hey. rated Mexican player in the world and just one of the best human beings in disc golf. Nice guy. Giving out discs to kids all the time. Giving out free lessons, free advice for people. I just, I seen Freddie and the, and the impact he has on the community and I, and I just want to share that with you guys and let y'all know that he's doing good stuff that's not always kind of shown in the forefront and uh, it just shows who he is as a person. And so yeah, thanks for joining us today, Freddie. Thanks yeah. for showing us this course. Thank you guys. And uh, like I said, again, uh, we're going to try in the back now. We're going to do like kind of like maybe a couple holes. We're going to like, kind of like explain and spawn it. So I hope we can use get it 50 50, you know? I hope he know sure what I'm saying. Un know. poquito espanol. Yeah, so we're so going to do smile, it, guys. <laughs> so let's see what happened in the backside. Estamos en el hoyo 10. Tenemos 720 pies de distancia. Voy a tratar de jugar el hoyo derecho y abrirme un poco más a la izquierda para tener un mejor tiro a la canasta, a la derecha. Vamos a jugarlo, a ver qué tal se va. I know he said left is better than right, I know that. Get back. Oh. Still on bounce. All right, like Freddie said, we're on hole 10, it's par four, 720 feet. You wanna get out past these trees. Finishing slightly left offers better approaches than the right side based off the low ceiling and the ability to kind of get a skip shot on a right hand shot coming in from that left side. So I'm gonna go Warbird, try to flex it, cause to me I can keep a flex line a little bit lower than a Heiser flip line. And so that's advantageous on a hole like this. Right in the middle, I was hoping to get a little skip back right left, center. but I'll take that spot. You like to flex those warbirds, huh? Yeah, I do. <laughs> we still hold 10. Hoyo 10, so I have 420. La canasta está derecho. So, lo que voy a tratar de hacer es tratar de ir afuera. Tratar de evadir todos los árboles. Sí, I can. 450 feet, he's avoiding all the trees, taking it out wide hey, to the right. I like it. <laughs> I think it helps that we're speaking the language of disc golf and I know some keywords. No! <laughs> I got the last one. Hey, pretty consistent. <laughs> like we mentioned off the tee, the issue with being dead straight like I am right now is it makes it harder to get some ground play on a skipping shot coming into the green and it forces me to throw more of a dead straight shot or maybe even a forehand. Uh, if you're off to the left, you can play a little bit of hyzer and get that skip a lot easier. I'm gonna go spur on the forehand. Try to play just a touch of flex on it. There it is, y'all. That was a spur? That was a spur. Hell yeah. Feel good birdie there for sure. Good spur. Seguimos en el hoyo 10. Esto es para salvar la parte. Es hoyo 4. So, va a ser fácil nomás salvar parte. Hey, I yeah. promise I'm gonna make one. <laughs> this is definitely one of those holes where easy par is fine. You want the birdie, but it takes two really good shots, truly. All right, easy for Freddy. Easy peasy. Easy bird, easy par, I take my birdie. Hey. Yeah, you really just don't want to bogey this hole, but par is pretty easy to swallow on this one. It doesn't feel too bitter in the mouth, you know. It's right in the middle. Hole 11 is going to be one of the hardest birdies on this track. 834 feet, out of bounds, lining both sides. It bends to the right, about halfway down. Mandatory tree, keeping us left, not allowing you just to play it straight towards the basket over there. There's also an out of bounds pond up to the right side of the basket. You'll see big flexing air shots, or I'm gonna take the roller with my tumbleweed. Gotta get some distance off this tee to open up your options into this green. Hey. Come on. Okay, that'll be good, I think. I like that. I was worried about that bounce it took, but I thought I like, about coming here and moving all the pine cones out of the way. I like you shop, but it's kind of like, I don't want to do it. I want to do the forehand. It's a risk. No. Uh, I'm going to try to match it with an air shot. 
But also I'm gonna try one roller after this. See how to go. This T box is got a hose. Oh yeah. Me and still got like at the distance where it's a little away. Yeah. 460 from there. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try one roller. Starship. That one kind of matches your outfit, that disc. Blue? Ooh, that's a good one. Come on, boy. Andale, a la, a la derecha. Apurate, apurate. That's <laughs> good. Vamos a ver si hace. 400 derecho. Voy a tirar un like, high flip. No sé cómo se dice en español, pero algo así. That's long. Sit. Ooh, that'll be close. It's a good shot. I got 350 feet in here. A little bit of headwind. Out of bounds water on the right. And the line on the left, that's at about 60 feet. So quite a bit of room to work here. I'm going to go tombstone, hanging out wide, and try to get that skip back in. See if I can get the big jump I'm looking for. Uh, a little bit of it. We'll take a look here. Definitely a dangerous hole that can eat you up, but taking a look at three feels good. Oh no. Lower. Play B. Why player B always got to be like that, man? Come on. I don't know because you you don't thinking about it too much. <laughs> yeah. Almost going to B. Yeah, I feel like they gave us too much room over here almost, you know, because I had one yesterday that I thought I shanked and it was inbounds. I was like, okay, I guess. That's nice. Nope. Play B. Don't think about it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Play B is worse. <laughs> Definitely a steel fish. I feel like if I throw by that pine, steel got like easy shot. Yeah. Like 400. All right, Connor, you ready for this? What you got? Oh. <laughs> Pancake. Oh my God. <laughs> That's how to, you're not supposed to be play. Did someone slip on their putt? You think this, this, this story out? Yep, 11. Yep. Pretty much, pretty consistent. Listo. Listo. All right. Hoyo 12. 460. Pueden ver la canasta de derecho a la izquierda. Solo tenemos OB en la parte del lado derecho. So, tenemos viento izquierda a derecha. So, voy a tratar de tirar my, uno de mis overstable bayonets. Make sure not flip it. Oh, bro, it's crazy. You get it there so fast. 460 foot par three here. This one's playing long. Definitely a bit of a bonus shot. I'm also taking bayonet. This one's alpha plastic. Left to right tailwind. Not the not the worst wind. It helps to commit on this one with something less stable. If you can get just past that big leaning tree trunk, though, you're on the green. Come back, Bayonet. What the heck? Hey, neighbor. Wow, no. It's like, no. <laughs> Maybe I should have thrown the same bayonet that Freddy threw. Oh, the gorilla boy. Oh, the Guess the wind is kind of shifted a little bit now. You know what? I'm going to go to Warburg. Because I didn't like that. That's a miss that you can't have here. Oh, and I threw it over there instead with the with the warbird too. Uh, All right, uno más. Bennett. 
This time I'm gonna throw like low, but I'm gonna throw straight to the tree. Hey, I got the tree. I say straight to the tree, but not that one. <laughs> All right, one more for redemption. Headwind bayonet. Oh, now I just, I'm just shanking it. Well, go right. Biggest misses you've ever seen, you guys. <laughs> well, those are probably, those are a good disc right here. I'll go on. We're gonna get her the A spot. I mean the. What's that one? Warbird. You think you can get a mic out of there? That one's there. Uh, I could try. Let's see. Let's see. You throw in four hints. Mesa Mad Cat. See if we can get it there. It's gonna take everything. Hey. You don't worry about the wind. That was solid. <laughs> You're yeah. not worried about the wind when that one. Yeah, I might switch to Warbird here since I threw my bayonets. To... Where's the last one you throw? Who knows? That was Warbird. More over stable? Yeah. The first one I just flipped. It, it was kind of similar to the one, that, the other one. But... Tenemos un árbol enfrente, so voy a tratar de ir a la izquierda un poquito de Enheiser. So we can see si if we can make a dot. Got it. Oh. oh. La basket tiene un hoyo. <laughs> Looks good. I thought it was going to be like perfect. Yeah, definitely. That was a Bravo. You get the. I already got the Mac. That's Alpha. That's the Alpha one? Yeah. I figured it out on my fourth drive, y'all. But uh, someone wrote Gannon Aim here on this little electrical box and that's actually a really good spot if you can test this thing you're gonna get there but really this big tree trunk if you can fly just right of it i think you did your job big birdies i'm getting burnt in here <laughs> it's long drive if you want to go around the yeah i feel like is this the same one as last year i feel like this one's longer is it or do you know i think they push a little that's yeah i thought it played it's like... between they push the t-box or the basket I feel like this was like the basket. I don't know, or maybe. Yeah. Maybe I'm weak. Yeah, maybe. Nah. I need some tacos. Hole 13 is another one of those holes that kind of switches up the flow of all power shots out here. Brings in some finesse to the course. There's a mandatory keeping you away from throwing the forehand out into the field or the left hand backhand shot. You gotta play it up the gut. 282 feet, thick wood line on the right. No out of bounds here, just that mandatory we mentioned. A lot of players will go mid, or, mid range or putter here. I'm gonna go penny putter. Just try to come out. Maybe it's a hint of turn. No, oh. I wanna see the finish. Oh, it looks so good. That's the problem with the putter though. You use a little bit more of the ceiling. So yeah, need to go mid range might not be a bad call. Oh my God, I wanna see ace. All right, hoyo 13, parte 3, 282. No tenemos OB ni derecha ni izquierda, pero tenemos un, un árbol con un mando al lado izquierdo, so te obliga a ir a la derecha. Les voy a mostrar ahorita después de eso una, un tiro con forgen en la izquierda. Oh, we both just barely hit this stuff. Hey, please, man. Oh, yeah. That was a rope. Cut those branch. No, it's yeah. a ranger. I wouldn't hate the. the <laughs> no. Just cut those branches. <laughs> I'm gonna go one more with the ranger. Try to drop some fireworks for you guys, and maybe if I throw it good enough, I'll convince myself to switch from the penny putter, especially if it's gonna be this little bit of headwind. Oh, too straight. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna throw four here. In. En la izquierda, cerca del mando a la izquierda, a tratar de ir derecho y regresar a la derecha para la canasta. Get there. Yeah. 
Easy. <laughs> Birdie. I'm gonna do one. Flex shot, chupacabra. Actually. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <nothing>. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need Mac hat. Yeah, you're right. I just put this D1 horning toad in my bag just to have a little bit extra kind of stickiness on the ground. Let's see if we can bring up an any for him. Oh. Beautiful. Well, nice shot. Right. No quieren terminar los árboles, pero what tal sacar un tiro para agarrar un mi parte. Sí, ¿qué pasa? Hey, afuera de 30, okay. Let's do it. Oh, man. Oh, Bro, everything dropped. Savahama. Sakai. Sakai. Oh, it's right here. There you hey. go. Megan scored the same score as you me win. And beat Freddy, so good job, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Estamos en el hoyo 14. 711 pies que vienen siendo 2216 metros. So, está derecho y la canasta va a estar un poco a la derecha. So, lo que quieres hacer es tirar un tiro derecho pasando esos árboles que están en el centro. So, tratar de pasarlos para tener un mejor tiro a la canasta. So, voy a tirar un Starship. Oh yeah, that's a great spot. Our job on this par four off the tee is really just to push it as straight as you can, beat those little thin trees that create a bunker in the middle. Out of bounds line on the left did get pulled in from last year a bit, so you can't just skip it out there willy nilly. You gotta play this one accurate and then bend it left to right into the green. Dragonite Warbird. Oh. Like last year, that would be a good miss. This year, probably out of bounds, but we'll see. I'm pretty tight, huh? Yeah. Segundo tiro, que la que sé, les dije que la canasta estaba un poco a la derecha. Solo tenemos ovilla en el lado izquierdo. Yo creo que todavía tengo como unos 360 pies. Voy a tirar un 7 speed, un frío, un poquito en jaise. I left my chupacabra on the last one. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Oh, you, you left up there in the shorty one? I'm gonna go get it, and then once you throw, I'll tell them they can throw. Okay. Not bueno. Why'd I put it to my shingle in that thing? Oh, me. What am I doing wrong, man? May you fall in? Let's stay one. Beautiful. You throw four hand. Great shot. Thank you. Take me three shots. All right, I just had to run back for my chupacabra. A little out of breath. 350 left. Not trying to rhyme, but you know I do that all the time. So. I'm gonna go midi into the green here. A little left to right wind should kind of hold it on this slightly turning line. Oh, solid choice, solid yes, choice. Yes, sir. 120 to the basket, horny toe. Forehand, flex forehand. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's how you say you part. Kind <laughs> of pass the basket like that way. Yeah. Run it. All right, snuck up here for a birdie look after staying in bounds off the tee. Warbird. That's how Maybe. you do it. Blue bonnet. Look at my forehand, bro. Yeah, that was great. 
from there, like probably like 360. Yeah. Not too shabby. Hole 15 it says 372. It's gonna be one of the easier birdies to pick up on the course. We do have headwind coming at us right now. Basket's tucked off to the right. There is out of bounds on the left and long, but it shouldn't really come into play unless you just throw a really bad shot. I'm going Warbird forehand. Key is to come out with a little bit of hyzer here. I like it. Oh, and I got the beneficial roll up. Let's go. Okie dokie. All right. Voy a tratar de hacer lo mismo, Connor. Un forehand. How you say forehand in español? Hmm. Forehand sasso. <laughs> Something mano. <laughs> mano. It's, uh, it's kind of weird when you say forehand. It's like, I don't know. All right, I'm going to try bad him bear cat. That's what I'm being like, practice this shot. I got like kind of like left to right. I need to go in the air, bro. Good roller. <laughs> this is the real play. Penny putter roller. Penny putter roller? Yeah. Oh, that was gonna be fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is the other, the other play. Ouch. Kinda. Freddie found a way to make it a tunnel shot. Yeah. Bomber. That's hey, Freddy, we got the same score. That's a Freddy tap in there. <laughs> nice birdie, Connor. You too. That was a good shot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I have to hit the ground and you. Yeah, I got the. Roll. It was gonna be like 28, but I got the little check up roll. Yeah, I mean you rise, ending by those I think trees, those guys and then and you then let it kind of like pass the tree and then. Yeah. Hole 16. Remember, I told you I'm gonna ace it. Freddy that was the hole it. I'm gonna ace it. He's been talking about it for a couple holes now, so. That was the hole right here. All right. Hoyo 16. 294. You can see the basket. Está la derecho. Lo que quieres hacer es. Dale derecho y un poquito slide any on the right side. And get in the basket. That's not ace, but it's a birdie. <laughs> All right, Freddie played Ranger. I'm gonna play Penny Putter. I think this hole really baits you into trying to move it far to the right when ideally you can play a pretty straight shot that moves barely right and still give yourself a look. So I'm gonna try to do that with the Penny Putter. See, you can miss it straight and still have a look. Lucky, I'll take it. You made me thinking <laughs> straight. Benny? Too stable. <laughs> no, I think the ranger is the, for me, is the plate. The yep. ranger is going to be the guy. All right, got about 12, 13 meters in, just outside with my V2 blue bonnets. Oh my gosh, y'all. Thought I made it. Roller. <laughs> All right, if you, uh, if you can make this birdie. Oh. Oh, no, you saw. Uh, you feel better, Nicole? <laughs> Rewind. We didn't see it. This is my, my real shot, okay? Boom. You just get in. <laughs> Play B is better. For sure. 
Only on practice days. Player A's always got to come training time. Yeah, I play. I make it play B feel better. There you go. I mean, the Benny still miss the line and still 40 out. Yeah. If you are not wrong, this basket used to be like maybe this way. Okay. Or this way right here. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they kind of move it. Yeah, I wouldn't hate here. I think I kind of like it. Does play a little. It plays trickier than it feels like it should right now. Siete, diecisiete. Siete, diecisiete. Pies. Hole 17 is a par four. 717 feet. Out of bounds line on the right here. It's pretty open on the left. Actually, there's no out of bounds on the left now this year, but there is a mandatory, not allowing you just to blast it out there. You'll see a lot of players play up the gut here and whether they want to kind of turn it to the right and work themselves up to that right side landing zone or just filter through the left, give themselves options. There's a couple ways to play this one. You'll also see some massive hyzers around the outside. But I'm gonna go bayonet up the middle. Just try to get a lot of distance here. Ooh. You stop. Awkward little step placement there. I just gotta beat those tree trunks. Oh yeah. Money. That's a good one. Hoyo 17, tenemos 7, 17 pies, parte 4. OB nomás en el lado derecho. Tu mejor posición va a ser al lado izquierdo. Voy a tirar un bene straight finish a la izquierda para tener el mejor segundo tiro. Beat it. No. Oh no. So solid. No, I got a right side. <laughs> yeah. If you hit that tree, you did a good job, you know. Yeah, I tried to beat it and then go left. So that would give it more chance to. Yeah. Segundo tiro. Todavía tenemos como unos 320 pies a la canasta. Voy a tirar a la derecha en esa, en esa window. So, tratar de agarrar mi, mi tres. Outside 35. I thought it was gonna be long. Yeah, I mean, me too for a sec. I'm gonna guess I've got about 270 feet or so in. I'm gonna take my V1 blue bonnet on a hyzer down this right side gap. This right side is probably the biggest gap you can access unless you get way off to the left. So it's not a bad spot to be. That's so low, you guys. Yeah, I need about twice the height there. Or easier disc, but it's all right. You got easy jump putt. About 70 feet here. Feels like there's some wind coming off the right. Shift it up on us. Finish. Oh, over the top. Give it a try. You run. Tercer tiro para salvar mi birdie. Tenemos, uh, I don't know, 36 pies afuera. Got it. Money. There you go. One more chance for birdie, yo. Hey, you just play when you back like that. Yeah. On the inside circle, you just play <laughs> when you back and throw it in. Hoyo 18, 405 pies. Puedes ver la canasta derecho. O vi ambos lados. Si no pasas a la, es una, como una isla. Si no pasas, te vas al drop zone. So, tenemos un poco de headwind. Vamos a ver cómo se juega ese hoyo. <laughs> Bro, where's the wind? The wind has died on us. I know. <laughs> this hole's tricky. It's, it's definitely a powerful shot, and knowing what the wind's doing matters here. Going Warbird right here. Oh, finally I throw a good shot on this one. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Nice yeah, shot. Let's take it. I'm going to throw one more for fun. I'm going to throw a Werber. I need to put a one good shot. I'm going one more bayonet. Try to ace run. Yeah, that's a good spot. 
Not even close. It's crazy how quick you can be, Obiba. All right, ultimo hoyo. Try to make it for birdie. Yeah, outside. No. Obi! <laughs> I'm just short of the circle here. A little bit of wind off the head. Oh my gosh, Connor. The step this through. The step through was waiting on me. Oh, I'm glad I didn't though. Oh no. <laughs> Good hit. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy's the Texas Ranger. That is gone. <laughs> yeah, this green is definitely a treacherous one, both for your footing and for the rollaway potential. See, when I miss those kind of shots, because I don't got the chuck in my hands. It was a strategic I need to take like, I need to take a couple more seconds. All right, that putt. Yeah, left to right. I know it's gonna drop it. You... Oh my God, so consistent. <clears throat> Got it. Finally made it. Thank you guys so much for joining today. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the description below to see how to support myself and Freddie. I myself am represented by, or am representing Team Lone Star Discs, Chump Chalk Bags, Discology Disc Golf Bags, Gorilla Disc Golf made this sweet fingerprint shirt that I got on right here. And uh, OTB Disc has an amazing selection of discs online. Freddie, who's supporting you right now? Who's, who can? So, so far, you still got a Lone Star. So, the only way, you know, support me, we're gonna leave it in the back so you can buy a disc. So, maybe I'm gonna get like more hats later. Yeah, Freddie's so. got some awesome, awesome hats. If you see him in person, I think he might have some of those. And uh, yeah, go check out his Mad Cat as well as his Walker. And go check out my Penny Putter. Hopefully we can have Freddie back on the channel here soon because he was a great guest to have and maybe we can give you guys some more of that bilingual action because I think uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of room for it on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. And everyone in the comments, if you'd like to see Freddie drop his own YouTube channel, let us know. Are you going to be subscribed to it? Tell him so he can make it. Yeah, all right guys, this is all for the part of the So, espero que les guste. Y ojalá podamos seguir haciendo más videos. Y déjenos el comentario si les gusta. O puedo hacer mi canal y suscribirse. Y podemos hacer, va a ser uno de los primeros que vamos a traer en el canal. So, vamos a tratar de hacerlo. Tal vez 50-50 en inglés y 50 en español. So, dejen sus comentarios y nos vemos en la próxima. Thank you. Gracias, hijo. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. <laughs>